Hey guys, Armando here with DLC Model Builders and I'm beginning another figure build. <clears throat> this time, uh, straying a little bit from the superheroes, I am going to build Celine from Underworld. Now uh, this is a um, beautiful kit that uh, was produced a few years ago by um, by a company called CND Nightmare Productions. Let me show you the uh, flyer from uh, from when it was produced. Oop, gotta put on my sh glasses. Okay, the kit. The kit's name is Blood Feud. Uh, two kits were produced, Blood Feud 1 and Blood Feud 2. This is Blood Feud 1, C&D Nightmare Productions. Um, and this particular one, Blood Feud 1, came in three versions. Um, the flyer here says that uh, version 1 was the one without the cape and version 2 was the one with the cape, but on a on the pictures it's reversed. I believe version 1 is the one with the cape. Version 2, which is the one I have, is without the cape. And version 3, she's standing in the water like in the scene at the end where she kills her mentor. Um, these are rare kits. I've been looking for uh, this one and, and Blood Feud 2, which is the one where she stands and shoots a circle on the floor with both guns and drops through. Uh, that one, uh, uh, my friend Tag got a few months back and uh, I decided I was going to look for it and as it happens I also have it in my stash so I've got the two kits I wanted but I thought I'd start with version uh, with uh, Blood Feud 1 and the one that I got is uh, again version 2. Beautiful kit, very large kit. Apologies, continuing. Um, <clears throat> so this is a beautiful kit. Obviously it's not a recast. Uh, amazing quality. Practically no, no flash to speak of. I, I can't really find any imperfections in it. Um, at least not in the figure. There's some tiny bubbles here on the surface of the, uh, of the base. You can see them right there. I'll fill those in. Um, this is the base, as you can see. Let me set this on the side here so I can show you guys the figure in more detail. The foot, the two boots. This is how she goes on on the base there. And the two arms. And the hair. That's what she looks like. She's pretty big. She looks like she's about one quarter scale, easily. Uh, I want to do her up uh, with the, uh, with the uh, shiny black uh, leather effect. Oh, she also has a, um, a knife handle which goes in the uh, right boot side here. Right there. No, you guys can't see it. Goes right there. Can't let go of her because I don't want to drop her. Anyway, uh, she wears a shiny black leather outfit as you can see in the pictures. So obviously I want to try and uh, reproduce that. I've seen some nice build-ups of these kits online. One particular one in the clubhouse.net where the, the gentleman actually uh, adds a little bit of Prussian blue to the black to, to give some, some depth to it. and. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice. I don't know if I'll end up doing that. I'll experiment and see. But, um, well, again, the camera kind of screws with the uh, coloring, but um, I 
in essence, she's she's got all shiny black leather, so it'll be fun to paint it. Uh, buckles uh, can be painted individually, the guns, and obviously her skin is going to be a pale vampire-like uh, uh, skin. Let me see if I can get her closer. The eyes will be uh, that really sky blue that she gets when her teeth pop out and uh, the lips will be red. Uh, should be fun to paint her. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's my uh, next figure build. I'll keep you guys uh, up to date. Talk to you later. Quick update. Uh, as you can see, I've filled in all the pits from the bubbles and sanded them down smooth as a baby's bottom. So the base is all set for priming. And that's what's coming next. Talk to you soon. All right, back with Celine Blood Feud 1 version 2. Uh, I've applied the adhesion promoter and the primer, and I'm getting set to proceed with the painting. Uh, now, with the painting, I went back and forth on this in my head as to how to achieve the glossy black leather look that she has in the movies. Um, of course I went back and watched both Underworld and Underworld Evolution, the first and second movies, uh, strictly for research of course. It wasn't because I wanted to watch Kate Beckinsale in, in tight leather, but anyway, um, the, um, the leather isn't perfectly black and this uh, beautiful build by Sevius Play over at clubhouse.net um, he states, and I corresponded with him by uh, PM, that he mixed in a little blue with it to give it more depth. Now, it looks bluer on the screen here because of the camera than it really is, but I do agree with him that adding just a touch of blue would give it a more natural appearance. And it isn't strictly jet black, but rather an off black, if you will. Um, I considered using the Alclad Gloss Black as my initial color. I could have applied it without any primer. But then I got to thinking of the um, bad uh, reaction I had with the, uh, with the Krylon Gloss and the Alclad on the uh, Blades of Wolverine. So I figured, you know, if I'm going to go, if I'm going to do differential shininess on, on, on Celine and different parts of her outfit, and I decide to use certain things for more shininess and certain things for less shininess. Uh, I may not want to go with the Alclads as the initial color to begin with. So I just went ahead and I, um, I took some uh, Spies Black, added just a touch of white to get, get it to lighten up just a little bit. And then I added some blue. It's really hard to see with the poor lighting in my garage here in the middle of the night. but. Um, the color is in jet black. I think it's very close to what I see on the screen, at least to my interpretation, and uh, I guess that's what's important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the black to all of her, basically, but I'm going to go dif differential glossiness on different parts of her outfit. The, um, in watching the movies, uh, there was a distinct difference between this part of her outfit and this part. Uh, this was a lot glossier and shinier than this, although this was also shiny. Uh, also, the zippers are important, and uh, somehow I'm going to have to distinguish them. They tend to be black along the uh, teeth, but the, um, the, the little handles, they, they are metal, and you can tell they're metal on the screen when you watch the movie. Uh, she has several different zippers. She has one there, she's got a couple back here, and she's got some along her, uh, her sleeves on the inside, so those are all going to have to be uh, separately painted. Um, she also has uh, metal buckles, and you could clearly see them as being metal in some of the scenes, uh, specifically in, in, in the first movie right after she um, she kills uh, Victor and she's walking along the water you can see her her boots there's a close-up 
and um, this is clearly metal, although everything looks like black leather. Uh, but there's a definite difference between her boot and, uh, and her pants. So I'm going to use this as the base color, the black that I mixed. And then what I'll do is I'll mask off different portions. This this will be easy enough. I'll, I'll just paint all of this black. Then I'll mask off the uh, holsters for her guns and apply the Nason clear coat to, uh, to the pants. And then this I will probably either dull down or go on in between like with a, a semi-gloss or, or matte or, or satin, something that will give it shininess but not as much as the pants. I want them to be different. And I'm going to do the same basically with this as opposed to this and with the boots. The boots will be uh, not as shiny, although they are shiny. And hopefully that will give me the effect I'm looking for. Um, the guns, I will probably use uh, some sort of a gunmetal uh, gray, either an outclad color or something to me you like. Um, and then of course the skin will be a, a, a light white because she is after all a vampire. Um, I'm going to have to really uh, hone my skills as far as uh, makeup here because uh, as a female she'll have painted lips although they're kind of subtle in the movie they don't really do a, a, a really bright job with them. In the second movie they're a little redder than the first but they still look like, an, uh, like a, a deeper shade of, of skin so I should be able to come up with something. The eyebrows are sharp looking in the movie. Um, a very dark brown more than likely and that I, uh, I'm going to use uh, the advice given to me by uh, Jesse Garcia over at uh, Garage Kits US. Um, really nice guy. Uh, he does a lot, a lot of uh, figure work and uh, uh, gave me some insights on, on how to do this. So this should be interesting. In fact, I picked up some, some of the flesh tones from him, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to using them. Uh, So that's um, that's what we'll be doing. Um, this is dry now, so I think I'll go ahead and start with the pants, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, talk to you guys later. Uh, on the last segment, I forgot to show the uh, base, which has basically been completed. Um, let me show you what I did. You show you saw the uh, the base primered on the segment prior to the previous one. What I did was I painted it uh, with a a dark gray and then a lighter gray to the center of each brick and then black in between the creases to add some pre-shading and then finally I took black and a cotton ball and I applied it throughout the whole surface to give it more of a brick like almost a marble appearance uh, And I'm, I'm quite pleased with the results. I, I think it'll do just fine. Gives it texture, it gives it some depth. It makes it look like a piece of a building. Um, it's similar to what uh, is done in this build here by Sevius Play. Uh, I, I really like what he did, so I used his idea. And uh, that's the base. Okay. Okay, some more work on Celine. Um, tonight I knocked out the uh, seams. Went ahead and got rid of them. They were pretty damn big. Take my word for it. If you saw the uh, the parts before assembly, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I also darkened the black slightly, added a little bit more black to it, and resprayed the pants and the torso and the arms. The boots I'm going to leave the same, and I also finished the hair. Um, as you can see, it's all black on the inside and on the outside. She is essentially all black in the outfit. A um, couple of things. Uh, from watching the movies, I noticed that uh, her outfit has a couple of stitch seams that run here and along the top of the uh, shoulders. Now I suppose I could scribe those in, but you know what? 
I kind of like the way she looks this way and it's certainly going to be a hell of a lot easier to just leave it alone like that um, so I'll just do a I'll take some artistic license and say you know what the whole thing is uh, skin tight so that's how it stays I don't want to ruin it by trying to scribe something in there that might not look right so besides that's how the kit was built without those seams scribed in there so I'm fine with it by the way this is putty don't think she got a big fungus on her face or something <laughs> I've just uh, I just uh, masked off all her face and the head with a putty works great um, I'll just let it sit overnight tomorrow I'll come back I'll retouch whatever black areas are uh, in need of retouching or darkening oh here's the, uh, the knife handle I also finished that it's uh, it's not glued yet but it's got its pin in place and uh, I'll glue it tomorrow when I'm done with that um, I'll begin the differential glossing of the parts uh, like I said before the areas where the leather is shiny will be most shiny the holsters the vest the boots those things will have less of a shine uh, oh the uh, the wrist uh, zippers also the idea is to create uh, contrast from the different areas just like her outfit because you know although all in black looks cool I also want some differentiation and I do believe it'll make her look better so she's coming along real well uh, I'm very happy so far now that the color is down she looks really cool uh, I think this is going to be a beautiful showpiece. Of course, the face will be the proof, and uh, it's going to have to be a, a more pale color. Uh, lipstick is going to have to be applied. The eyebrows are going to have to be painted, and uh, the eyes, of course, I'll use decals. Very uh, sky blue, like, uh, like she is when she's uh, turning into a vampire. I also dusted a little bit of uh, more gray onto the base to make it a little lighter and have it contrast more with her uh, when she's standing on it. Um, so that's my progress on Celine. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. See you later.